I've done it. I've created an awesome stabilizer mechanism. It's parametric, so you can make this should work as like a should drop in replacement for cherry. Well, what you know with different uh, lengths and stuff. But let me show you how it works. Watch this. So I'm going to press on the far left here. Now, if I didn't have the stabilizer here, this thing would would bind like crazy because this is like a shift key sized key, and it would be too far over. I'm trying to be gentle here. I can't normally I play th place things on my 3D printer, but it's printing right now. Made a few tweaks, little little changes from this one, but it's pretty much the same thing. So you can see that it, I just, this is just to prove that it works. Hold it, hold it down like this. All right, you ready to see how it works? Magnets. See that magnet there and that magnet there. When you press down, it the stabilizer wire bends down and then this magnet wants to pull it back flat right but not very strong it's just right there in the corner you can see pulls a little bit right now I'm still gonna put a little clip in here just just to be safe but it'll be very loosely held on there um, but look at it even without any clip it works fine because the magnet wants to hold it in place and it, it feels really nice um, it's got, I've got a terrible wire bending job here. <laughs> so let me show you why the, that little clip is needed. You can see I've got just a smidge of a not straight bend here, right? And that's all it takes to mess this up, uh, a bit. So that's why I need the clip on there. Because if the clip was there, a little, little mess up like that on your wire bending wouldn't make as much of a difference. I mean, it doesn't bind, but that's because it's reasonably straight. But you can see the one on the right, it's actually pretty straight, so it doesn't have that problem where it goes down a little too far on the left. And another amazing thing about this stabilizer system, let me t hold it in my hand upside down so you can see, it will never rattle. Think about that for a second. One of the biggest annoyances of stabilizer bars everywhere, of stabilizers just in general, is they rattle. Because this one is always pulling on the on that wire, on the stabilizer wire, you're never going to get a rattle because it's basically always tugging on it. And it also lets me, the, the magnet also lets me keep this um, tolerance is really wide. So if you screw up your bending, it won't be as bad. <laughs> and I am going to try and make a bending jig um, and also a wire straightener because, you know, when you pull it off the... Um, spool it's it's bent and it's hard to get it perfectly straight which is why this one's a little messed up there and it doesn't seem to um how do i describe this so it doesn't feel like it adds uh anything to the um force curve but i did note that it was a little too easy to press this down because of the weight of the space bar and the added stems uh so i was thinking i needed to add a little bit more uh strength to it and that's where i came up with the idea for using the magnets right just add a smidge more strength uh because it was a little too easy with all that extra weight on there and that's where i came up with this cool idea and it's oh it's working out so well i mean look at it, it doesn't even need the clips on there um and now i gotta print out a space bar size one and see how that goes but i don't see why it would be any different yeah oh this came out it, it was a lot of i mean it took way longer than i expected and there's all sorts of weird things with, with cherry stems that I didn't know, like, so the center point of that stem on the left and the center point of that stem on the right is not the center point of these holes. <laughs> it's actually like 0.275 millimeters to the side from the center. So it took me a while to figure this out. So the center of your stabilizer cutout, there's like a little, you know, it's a, it's a rectangle. And you'd think that the center of the rectangle would line up with the center of the stem. No, no. The center of the rectangle is off a little bit. Like I said, it's off by like something like point, somewhere between 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 millimeters more. So if you're, so the stem here on the keycap would be 12 millimeter, 12 meter millimeters to the right and 12 millimeters to the left. But the um, stabilizer is actually going to be, like the center of the stabilizer is going to be 12 point. Uh, it's actually going to be 11 point like uh, seven something. <laughs> Uh, which really threw me off because I had all this binding and I'm like, why is it holding so tight? Why is this holding so tight? And then I, I pulled it in a blender and did some measurements and wow, that is not what I was expecting. 
Uh, but yeah, it turns out really great. I'm really uh, proud of this design. I mean, it took way longer than I thought. That was going to be a simple, simple matter of putting a wire and some stems, but man, wow, it was not. This is complicated. <laughs> it was really complicated to get it working. But the print is easy. I mean, you can see I'm doing the print right there. All right, getting so close, very excited.